so here is another example so here uh, till now we have see uh, we have taken some examples where you have one quantifier and there is a formula and we have derived with all your uh, natural deduction rule now there there are some places where you will uh, a formula will be bounded with more than one quantifier so here take an example so here we have there exist an x there exist a y a formula phi and we can try to rewrite that as there exist a y there exist a x or phi okay so here uh, the concentration has to be more like when you want to break it like here i need a formula for breaking there exist an x there exist a y two different procedures and to insert this there exist a y and there exist a x okay so the procedure has to be taken as a whole you want to prove it like first step is i take this formula so here there exist a x and there exist a y for this phi this is the given premise and what i have to do i have to break this so how i am going to break this like i am i want to eliminate this there exist of x how we are going to eliminate there exist of x it can be eliminated by starting with a term and uh, substituting that in a formula and taking this as an assumption you are going to derive to a term okay so that is how it works and this term is going to be your conclusion okay so let us start that like uh, here i have to break two quantifiers so it is not possible to break it directly so first i have to start with the first quantifier this is over the variable x and this is over the variable y so first i start with the assumption as x not and i'm going to make the substitution for x not in the formula this y will remain as it is so this there exist a y o phi will remain as it is and i'm just going to make the substitution as x not instead of x so this is going to be my assumption see in the formula i'm going to make the substitution for x not and this can be written as like here uh, this x and y are different variables so we can rewrite this formula as for all y and there exists this formula in this formula x not is substituted instead of x so x not is a term that is substituted instead of x so you can call this rule as identical rule okay so now the fourth step is we have broken one quantifier the next step is i have to break this quantifier too so i am just making two assumptions make sure that assumptions are not overlapped okay so i just want to make a assumption for y not and i'm going to break this there exists a y so i start with the assumption as y not and in the formula i'm going to make the substitution as already i have the formula as x not as x so this is the formula in this formula i'm going to make the substitution as y not as y okay so this is my second assumption so now we have broken both this Now, not broken. We have taken two assumptions for both the quantifiers. Now, with that, what we have to do? We have to derive to a term, and that term is going to be your solution. Okay, and that term should be the conclusion that is needed. And what is the conclusion needed? There exists a y. There exists a x of psi. Okay, so we are going to rewrite this formula as. both your x and y are different formulas right different variables so using your identical rule i can rewrite this formula as y not as y and x not as x okay so that means that for a term your formula actually works for y using your there exist insertion if the formula actually works for a single term we can write it as there exists a y and this phi is working and with that x not is x substituted as x this is your there exists of insertion there exists insertion of step 5 okay the formula actually works for one single variable so it means that we can rewrite the formula with there exist and seventh step is now see this formula actually works for one term x so i can rewrite this formula as there for some oh, sorry there exists a y and there exists a x where your formula x is working okay this is your there exist insertion for step for six okay so there exist insertion is very easy but there exist elimination is really hard we haven't eliminated it 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 okay so now see starting from your um, step four 
we started with the assumption as a term x y naught and we derived to a term x See, starting with the assumption as x naught and making that substitution in the given formula we derived to a term so what does that mean the term is valid so we can rewrite this like whenever you have an assumption we should conclude it properly using your there exists elimination for step uh, three the formula actual original formula is here step three from 4 to 7, we derive to there exists a y, there exists a x of 5. Got it? And similarly, here we have started with an assumption. So with that assumption, we are able to derive to this conclusion. So I can rewrite this as 9 steppers. There exists elimination of... Uh, this is from step one, from two to eight, we can conclude it as starting from a term with this formula, making a substitution for x naught, we did add to this term. So we can say that this term is valid. There exists a y, there exists a x of psi is valid. Okay, so this is how actually it works when it is for a two variable, like when there are two quantifiers merged with it. Okay, and reverse is also going to be the same. So there is nothing much difference instead of x when you substitute y and instead of y when you substitute x that is your you know, quantifier equivalence that also will work. So here phi is a single uh, term that is going to describe an entire formula. If a formula is given to you make sure you are able to make the substitution. Thank you.